despite what I've been told, I don't think it ever will get old. Cause I believe it's true. Pick a way to go and you follow through. You have the ciboulette to watch your tongue. You have a chime in your tooth. So here I am on the same day that I Bonjour Nadia. Bonjour Lizzie. C'est pas aujourd'hui le jour le plus parfait. Oui. Buongiorno, mademoiselle. Uh, they will sell soon, Bella. All of them. Everybody loves them. C'est la vie. Thanks for the coffee. Nice soup, by the way. I uh, have a date for lunch. Ooh, who is she? Computer date. Mm -hmm. She likes movies, mm -hmm. walking on the beach, mm -hmm. and Weimarana dogs. Two out of three is good. Ciao, Angelo. Thoughtful of you to grace us with your presence? I set the alarm. It's just that I was having the most blissful dream. Simon and I were in Paris. It was a beautiful autumn morning and a gust of wind picks up some fallen leaves. He turns to me, sweeps me off my feet, gets down on one knee, looks deeply into my eyes, and the world starts to spin, and I know he's going to propose, and it's perfect. Stop right there. I'm not exaggerating when I stress to you the lack of interest I share in your fantasies. Dream. Whatever. Did I mention he's taking me out to dinner tonight? Did I mention the toilet flusher thingy is sticking? He says he wants to tell me something. A surprise. I think I know what it is. He has herpes? No, I think he might be going to propose. Ah. Do men still get down on one knee, do you think? Yes, yeah, some do. He's been facing Mecca. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, I was in here last week looking at a dress. Oh, yes. Do you remember which rack it was on? Oh, no, you don't understand. I, I bought it. I'd like to return it. You did say there was a seven-day refund policy. Was it a sizing issue? Because we do have a range I of different sizes. I just don't think it's me. An outfit can really come alive with the right accessories. My boyfriend said it made me look like a Ukrainian whore on crack. Fair enough. Thank you so much. <laughs> Why aren't you wearing anything from the shop? It's a sizing issue, mainly. I failed to see the problem. There's nothing terribly wrong with your body shape. It's not ideal, but you can look quite smart. Thank you. Well, maybe you could just try and bring something more colourful. You've been in the fashion industry for... 12 weeks. Employed as a... Sales assistant. How much longer do I have you? A week at most. Can you fix the toilet while you're out there? Sorry about the restaurants. All that I can think of. C'est la vie. Lizzie, I need to speak to you. Tu voulais me parler? In English, please. Romantic. Not 
of Lizzie, he's playing that bloody song from the pastor ad. He is. Flower for the lady? No, please, we're trying to talk. Thank you. Paris has been cancelled. Yes. But what? It's not happening. But they can't do that to you. Well, me, I've quit my job. I've started packing. And they said they were happy with your work. I mean, did they say why? It was my decision. I withdrew my transfer request. You were going to design the next Eiffel Tower. And I've already been accepted into my course in the Sorbonne. Well, maybe you should still go over there and study your art like you want to. What about you? I don't want to go to Paris anymore. Why would I go without you? Because it's what you want to do. Lizzie, I... I think we need a break. Oh my god, you're breaking up no, with no, me. No, 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 not, not, not completely. I mean, probably... Actually, yeah. I've been miserable for months. We were going to Paris. It would be disastrous if we went to Paris. We'd end up hating each other. I, I wish there was a better way to tell you. Lizzie, we ran out of passion a year ago. Our relationship's been bankrupt a long time. Bankrupt? I, I know it must seem like a shock and I know it must be hard now, but... Maybe your plans have to change. Maybe the bond's no longer an option. Maybe you can find a policy to go for. Lizzie, don't go. My life is over. Come on, sis. It's not that bad. How could he do this? We had everything planned out. Nobody's ever going to love me now. I love you. <laughs> you don't count. You're my brother. You have to love me. I'm getting old. Look, I'm two years older than you. I'm single. Do I look worried? <laughs> You're immature. I mean, no offence, but you don't want to grow up. Maturity's overrated. I was finally going somewhere. Look, you can still go to Paris. Just go on your own. On my salary. I need to call Simon. What? No, not allowed. Rule number 56 in the Getting Ditch Manual. You must never, not even in your darkest moments, not even after a night of pizza, porn and masturbation have failed to rub her slash him out of your mind, can you yield to that temptation? But, but what if he's changed his mind? Who might have thought about it and realised how much he misses me, us? Forget about it. Give me the fuck. No. Jimmy! Lizzie! Ha! Keys to his apartment. I'm just gonna ride around and see him, but you can't stop me Lizzie. from going. Sucked in. He never talks about the things that she ever did. He never walks by the place where she always stays. Explanation necessary. Simon, dump me. Oh, darling. Oh. Oh. It's going to happen sooner or later. No, I'm never going to go to Paris. I'm never going to be an artist. I'm going to be alone forever and working here until I die. He's a man. It's 
course he was going to let you down. He said I make you miserable. Do I make you miserable? I'm in too honest a mood to answer that question. Can you please give me something mindless to do? Everything you do here is mindless. Please. You can start by scraping off the sale sign. Come on. There you go. together now. This is not good for business. Maybe, maybe I should go home. Do you have a medical certificate? No. Then you're not going home. I don't want it on my conscience if you're found lying dead in a bath tomorrow. Thanks, okay. That's all right. Now I need you to scrape that sail sign off the window. Do you think you can do that? Yes. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Go. Scrape. Can I help you? I doubt it. This can't be the place I'm looking for. Sorry. What are you looking for? Not a morgue, that's for sure. Excuse me? I'm Julius. My partner and I are setting up a label and we need a shop front. I'd consider putting them in on consignment, maybe. Just until we get set up. Are they anything like these? We prefer colour. Me too. Boss was into drab. No kidding. <laughs> it was up to me. Well, if you do change your mind, give me a call. Orange fashion. San Francisco on Milan. Yeah, yeah, we have interest from Paris too. Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'll leave you to it. Bye. Hey! I come with nutrition, Milo, and entertainment. Yeah, the full breakup recovery. Can we just watch breakfast at Tiffany's? No. Come with me if you want to live. Hmm? Yeah. One more thing. One large plastic garbage bag. What's that for? Well, that's where we stick all the crap from your past. Hope you like one time noodles. That's pretty much all there is. Right! The sustenance is on its way. So what do we got here? Simon won this at a carnival on our second date. Threw three darts under 11. Mm. Well, the dart king he may be, but classy he is not. Come on. I always hated this thing. <laughs> yes, death to Teddy. The illustrated Kama Sutra. Yeah. Maybe we could keep this one out. Photos or sketches? Sketches. Oh, I toss them. Last year's Christmas present. Are they used? Because they can come in really handy. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Hang on, what's that? Mm -hmm. He bought it for me. It was meant to be a joke. <laughs> I'm a trainee sex addict. Oh. He gave you a toilet brush. He's a hygiene thing. He's one creepy character. Keep 
this one. You aren't soft on me again. You look really cute in this picture. Hey! <laughs> Is that the lot? I think it all has to go. Can you do something, Bernie? No. No, I think. Oh, shit! What are you doing with the fire on the tack dog? I don't know, I'm trying to. Hold up, right? Pull safety in an AMAC phone. No later. time, we're gonna no. go! It was in the entire block. Yeah. Lucky it was just my apartment. Shit, did you get anything first? Yeah. Yes. I'm really sorry, sis. Don't worry about it. It was just everything I had. You're gonna need a new place to stay. Oh, I could just stay here. It's warm by the fire. I'll invite you back to my place, but I'm still sleeping on Melissa's couch and that isn't going so well. Who's Melissa? Beautiful eyes, big tits, nobody here. No, I went out there a couple of years ago. You're still sleeping on the couch of an ex. Well, she's married now. It's not like I'm going to get an invite into the marital bed. Although if it came to that, I'd be into it, but... The husband's really straight, so... That's really not what I meant. It's too much of a stress having your own place. I just wish I could help. Forget about it. I'll be all right. Look, this probably isn't the best time to mention this, but the old man's in town. He'd really like to see you. No. He's harmless. A thousand times no, and he's not harmless. Okay, well, I said I'd ask. Yeah, well, you've asked. Subject closed. All right, well, you can't stand that here all night, so have you got somewhere else to stay? Can't wait to see you. <laughs> Be sure to invite some yummy guys. <laughs> well, I've told everyone about 8.30. James Valentine. I might know you. Um, je ne parle pas d'anglais. Excuse moi. Hey. Washing day. Yeah, sort of. Um, I just have to go and make a quick phone call. Of course. Don't let the risk of unemployment deter you. <sighs> I'm not here. Look, I need you alert. Wake up. What's wrong? Do you remember that friend of yours from school, James Ballantyne? Same James whose heart you broke into a thousand pieces. We only went out a couple of times. Six months. Off and on. Anyway, it doesn't count. I was 16. It always counts. That's not the point. The point is, he may be stalking me right now. Anything I can help you with? Uh, no, I was actually, uh, I was just looking for an old friend. I thought she'd come in here. Sorry, all out of old friends. Last I heard he was tracking the Himalayas. Identity. Cameron, you have to remember 
to flush. Ah, sorry, I got stoned and drifted off. Come on. Late for the office. Mm -hmm. Cameron, Paul. Hello? Cameron? Perhaps you'd like a frock. <laughs> um, no, no thanks. If you do see the young lady, she dropped this. Lizzie, wait. Drink tonight at Noir Bar. I really can't be bothered. I just want to go home. Oh, wait, I don't have a home. No, come on, the drink will do you good. I don't have any clothes or shoes. I'll see you at seven. Don't make me come looking for you. Yeah, I'll think about it. He's gone. Who? The hunk of beef you were hiding from? I wasn't hiding from anyone. Of <laughs> course. Cool. Bit of different today. Really? Um, what way? Like you've been working the streets all night? I'm wearing one of your dresses, like you asked. Oh, God. It's wrong. <sighs> it's inside out and back the front. It is? Yes. Three out of ten for trying. <sighs> Don't forget to claim your 7% staff discount. So so. Hey, how was your date? Uh, she liked Weimaraners more than walking on the beach. Lizzie. Jack. Cam, tell me what happened last night. Fire and losing everything and all that. Look, I don't want to hold you up at all. I just. I want you to know that you're welcome to stay with me. If that would help. Yeah, well, um, I'll think about it. Good to see you, Lizzie. So she had this bag that was full of tambourines and she, she couldn't sort of walk <laughs> Oh, Lizzie! <laughs> Look who it is. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Turns out you're alright, Lizzie. James is in town. Found him with a couple of phone calls. <laughs> really? <laughs> and this is James' friend, Natasha. Hello, Lizzie. Hi. So, you used to know James? Uh, just a little wee work. It's all friends. Oh, it was young love. <laughs> James, remember that time you spread rose petals from the front gate right up to Lizzie's bedroom door? Oh, it must have been about 10,000 rose petals. No, I don't think there was that. Um, believe me, there was. I had to sweep them up. <laughs> That's so romantic. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone tries it on once, I guess. What? No rose petals for me? Oh, um, maybe one day. <laughs> Don't look so worried. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> oh, James, when was the last time that you and Lizzie saw each other? A long, long time ago. Yeah, like 12 years. Mm, mm. Rock and roll. James has just opened a cafe right near your work. Yeah, the soup stop. We sell soup. No shit. Yeah. <laughs> I might get some drinks. No, please come, please don't leave me. Uh, would you like to take a seat? Uh, no, no, uh, let's stay here. Standing. Okay. Mm. So, what have you been doing for the last 12 years? You know, this and that. Finished art school, got confused, ended up in a shop selling really ugly dresses. <laughs> I've always imagined you living overseas. Some fabulous, exciting life. Yeah, well, I decided to stay here and be miserable instead. You're miserable? No, I'm just joking. Everything's right. fine. Good. I'm happy. Okay. So, where did you learn to speak French? <laughs> oh, shit. You okay? Yeah, under control. Everything's fine. 
need a hand. No, really. Everything's fine. I could help you with that if you need to. Let's go. Okay. Well, you've got your memento. Yeah, you? That's not funny. Oh. <laughs> Tell Cam I'll call him. Okay. Yep. Uh, there you go. Where's Buffett? <laughs> she just ran off for a second. Okay. Cheers. All for you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Elizabeth, have I got a surprise for you? <laughs> My supplier sent over the advanced stock. Ah, <laughs> there's more coming. I think this one's your size. Oh, wow, that's... Um, I really can't afford a new dress at the no, moment. It's, it's a loan. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's really generous of you, but I shouldn't. You can wear it to my party tonight. What party? I'm oh, having a little cocktail party. Mm. It's going to be full of fashion VIPs, and I want you to show off the new range. No, I really no, no, need no, no, a night no, no, at home. Think. I can't. You're so late. You look nice. Correction, I look gorgeous. But close. All right, come on. <clears throat> Try and patrol all the little nooks and crannies. Yeah, filling up glasses as you go. Try not to do that slumping thing you do. Make sure people admire you. And smile, darling, you have tea. <laughs> Joe, I'm not a pet. Oh, if you were, you wouldn't talk back. But you are an employee. Sushi? Thanks. Uh, you want me to hand them out? Of course. I've provided you with the outfit. It's the least you can do. Chop, chop. I said to Andrew, if you're going to trip off to Paris every other day, I want a new car. <laughs> well, I don't believe we should have immigration. There's enough people here already. I mean, why don't they consider our feelings for a change? I think we've been generous enough. I couldn't agree more. Oh, I'm talking about generosity. What? You didn't tell me that you were invited to James. Hmm? I didn't invite him, I invited her. That's Natasha, Ailis model. I can't stay here now. Oh, don't be ridiculous. But you don't understand. Nor do I want to? Ah. Oh. Here's the guy that came into the shop the other day. It's quite cute in the right light. <laughs> Care about that? I just don't want him to see me. Yes. Yo, darling, there's yes. someone here you must meet. Ah, oh, and you would be? Flavio. <laughs> Flavio. Hilarious. Sushi? Uh, no. Might pass. But thank you, anyway. I really enjoyed catching up with you last night. Um, good. Uh, well, I have to mingle. Sushi.
You are a very hot woman to find. Excuse me. What's going on? Everyone's starving. You're hiding the bloody toy. Oh my god. What have you done to the sushi? Looks like it's been regurgitated. Go and find some more. I don't want to. What? Want has nothing to do with it, my dear. You've got two simple tasks. Hand out the food and try and look good. Well, if it's that simple, you do it. What? I'm going. Ingrid, take one more step and you are unemployed. Do you know why you don't sell any of your dresses? It's got nothing to do with an economic downturn. They're just ugly. They're artless, drab, shapeless and completely lacking any kind of fashion sense. Thank God I don't have to look at them anymore. Simply a peasant revolt. Please, continue enjoying yourselves. <laughs> Sushi? Lizzie! Lizzie! What up? What? Are you some kind of stalker? <laughs> no. Not a stalker. Just happened to be walking the same way as you. Aren't you forgetting someone back there? Your friend Natasha? No, I don't think she'd noticed that I was gone. Didn't you come with her? Yeah, I did. I've only known Natasha a couple of weeks. Uh, we're just friends. Definitely not soulmates or anything. Why are you telling me this? Yeah, I don't know. Guess I want to. You really don't need to walk me home. I am quite capable of walking home alone. I know. <laughs> Lizzie, wait up. I want to give you something. This coupon entitles you to one free soup of your choice at my restaurant. I'm really not in the mood for soup. Well, you might be later. Yeah, take it. Use it whenever you like. Did you see that? The light went out. Must be a sign. A sign? See, as I handed you that coupon, the light went out, so... I guess I can't leave you now. So, um, street lights communicate with you now? Well, that one did. It was a profound moment. Could it be that the, uh, black globe just blew? No. Nothing's accidental. Rude to you in high school. Uh, I don't know about rude. Cruel, maybe. I didn't mean to break up with you the way I did. I mean, I meant to break up with you, but I, I didn't mean to be so cruel. How did I break up with you, by the way? I told your friend Cindy to tell me that you were going out with Clive instead. Mm. That was me. Sorry. No need to apologise. Believe it or not, I have moved on. But that was a good lesson. <laughs> what lesson? You're not to give too much of yourself too quickly because it just scares them off. Anyway, I don't blame you. I, mean, I was nerdy and pudgy. You were the high school princess. <laughs> I was not a princess. You were to me. Come on. House captain, ducks of the school, track star. All right, now that is a sign. You cannot deny that there is some kind of connection going on here. You did say I could use it whenever I liked. That I did. Hey, I'll race you home. Home? Where is home anyway?
Hello? Yeah, speaking. Yes. How? Yeah, sure, I'll be right down. small breaks. How? That's not a subject up for discussion. I brought you these. Ah, oh, good clothes. Oh. Side table. Uh, yeah. Can you just... Thank you. Oh my god, it's after ten. Why aren't you at the shop? You fired me, remember? Oh, petty details. All right, you're rehired. What if I don't want the job anymore? It's not compulsory. Since you asked so nicely. Good, that's settled. Ah. All right. So I was thinking about the display. Thank you. Goodbye. You want me to go? Yes. Why don't you do it in the shop? Oh, of course. <laughs> Hi, Angelo. Ciao. Another date. Her hobbies are opera, movies, and water skiing. Good luck. Thanks for the coffee. Don't you ever knock first? It's a shop. Thought you might be hungry, so I bought you some soup. Thanks. Well, I'll, uh, I'll let you get back to your busy day. Rush on my account. I had to close the shop. And the traffic was terrible. Do I look like someone who needs to hear somebody else's complaints? Sorry. How was sales? Sold a V-neck. Yes, and? That's it? One thirty-nine dollar sale? Twenty-nine, I marked it down. Oh. Oh, and um this came for you. They're giving you two days and then they're going to disconnect it. I broke my leg. I didn't go blind. I could try another sale. Whatever you think. <laughs> Nurses here are hopeless. I don't know how many of my flowers I've worked away with, allegedly in search of a vase, never to be seen again. Oh! Oh. 
Oh. I'll go then. When will you be back? I can stay if you're lonely. <laughs> My dear, I don't get lonely. Come back whenever you want. Sure. Changed your boss's mind. Uh, she decided to take a back seat for a while. Well, call us if you want more. Do you mind if I borrow some of these? Yeah, please do. Free advertising. I can feel the change of coming. I can feel the sunshine. And happiness is mine. I feel the warmth of a new love deep inside. This time is looking out for me Yes, it's on my side, it's mine Hi That dress that you have in the front window Do you have that in a size 10? Uh, I have one over here Great, I love it, can I try it on? Absolutely All I know Fate is making me smile. I believe you. Thank you. Oh, this time is mine. I can feel the changes coming. I can feel the sunshine. Am I in the right shop? Right shop? <laughs> Where are all the dust coats? I took nearly $4,000 today. We're celebrating. Come on, just. Past closing time. No, I'm tired. I need some sleep. How old are you? 82? Some of us actually work for a living. <laughs> Angelo! Something wrong? Uh, I had to tell you straight away. Tell me what? Your paintings in my shop. A sale. I sold a painting! All of them. A courier came, bank check, and he took them all with him. But you know. $2,855! you serious? You just nearly made three grand selling your paintings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely going out. Do <laughs> <laughs> you realise you're walking with a bona fide artist? <laughs> Not even Picasso sold out everything in one night. Yeah, you've got a secret tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's a bloke. Oh, it could have been a woman. If it was a woman, it'd all be talking and glasses of Chardonnay and what gives you your ideas and blah, 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 blah. No, this is a bloke and he wants to get into your pants. Aww. A patron, perhaps. And he does not want into my pants. It would have been better if more than one person bought them. Well, here we are. I don't want to see him. Well, what do I do? He's my dad as well. Fine. You go in there. Look, let's just sit up the back. He won't even know we're there. Just give me ten minutes. Please, it would mean the world to me. Come true, and we 
shell powder if you're singing just sweet food. I woke up to the calling of the gulls around the boat side on the bay. She set my belly to do, me and all the other girls are working today. Hey, where are you off to? You can't sit there and listen to him. Look, he's not all that bad. No, just irresponsible, insincere, selfish. Callous. Am I leaving anything out? Only the fact that he cared for you for the first 12 years of your life? Yeah, and then decide to care for himself. I don't want to see him. Damn. I told him I wouldn't tell you. Tell me what? The real reason why he's in town. <laughs> Let me guess. He's on the run from a posse of cheated husbands. He's met a 25-year-old Malaysian princess and dropped in to arrange a marriage. He's booked in for surgery, Lizzie. Heart bypass. I don't want to know. Lizzie, come back. Go away! Bloody hell, Lizzie, he's our father. You can't change that. I was just resting my eyes. Where have you been? Oh. What's that? Yesterday's takings. How? I arranged to have some new stock brought in. You went behind my back and ordered new stock? They're on consignment. It's a new brand, it's called Orange. I knew you had a brain the first day you walked into the shop. You don't mind. <laughs> I may be a little grumpy at times, but I'm not a complete idiot. Are you okay? Are you crying? Oh, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Somebody bought all my paintings. Who? I don't know. I have an idea, though. I think it might be James. Beefcake. Maybe you should move on that one. <laughs> Absolutely not. I was only dumped like a second ago. I'm at least six months away from even considering something like that. So, Joe, I was thinking. You know, it's okay if you want to talk to me about anything. Talk to you. Well, I just think you might get lonely being here by yourself. It's, it's just that I know that there haven't been any other flowers. I didn't want you to feel bad that no one else had visited. You might like to go now. Go. Two verses. Guess that's good. I brought you these. Hey, come in. Well, these are um, they're nice. I wish you told me you were coming. I'd have cleaned up a bit. I didn't know myself until about twenty minutes ago.
I take him with me wherever I go. You know, a bit of uh, sanity. <laughs> I used to love that bike. Remember our little song? Just a couple of hobos, me and you, riding on a bicycle built for two. Why did you leave? You know, your mum and me, we, we sort of became like two people who just didn't have much in common anymore. It was stifling. I could swear I was going to suffocate if I stayed, so I left. But why did you leave me? Honey, I didn't want to leave you. I tried to see you, but your mum didn't want me to. And I tried to call you, she wouldn't let me speak to you. I sent a heap of letters. I didn't get any letters. No, I wonder why. She never forgave me. <laughs> Not till the day she died. You weren't the man that she thought you were. Well, she wasn't the only person disappointed with that marriage. Lizzie, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I hurt you and I... I let you down. Everything I did back then, it was... Well, it was wrong. But there's not a day goes by that I don't think about you. And what I could have done better. Do you... Would you sing me a song? anything just happened to have a song <laughs> I read it for you actually it's, um, yeah, it's just a uh, well I'll just play it <laughs> Thinking I was gonna leave this life forever, darling Never see your face again You are a lighthouse in the night You shine through this hazy, crazy light you will always be the only thing that I got right. That's beautiful. Thank you. My pleasure. When do you go in? In where? The hospital, the, the bypass. Uh, I'm not sure I know what you mean. I mean, I'm not going into hospital for anything. I'm fit as a flea. I have to go. Um, yeah, this was a mistake. What's a mistake? Damn, Cameron. Lizzie! Looking 
back, I thought I had it all You and me, well, where we're gonna be It's funny how love is I've slept for days, now gonna let the sun shine Did you want to see me? No. I was just thinking about some soup. That soup's all finished. But I do have some fresh stuff upstairs. If you give me two seconds, I shall put all this away and I'm all yours. I'm just got to lock up. This is nice. <laughs> Minimalist. <laughs> yeah. You ever thought of buying any artwork to hang on the walls? <laughs> I thought I'd start with buying a bed. <laughs> As for buying art, I have no idea. You know, secret to buying art? Mm hmm. You just buy what you like. You tell me if you like that. Completely delicious. Mm. Where did you learn to cook soup like this? This particular recipe mm. in France. You know the soup stoppers. Only the first step. Imagine this as a restaurant. It takes you on a journey around the world. And I want to showcase all of the traditional cultural dishes from like Jamaica, Egypt, Morocco, Nepal, everywhere. You've been to all those places. Mm hmm. Most. I was a nomad for eight years. What about you? Uh, embarrassingly, I still haven't left Australia. I guess I'm kind of stuck. No matter where you are in life, you're never stuck. It's true. 99% of the time, people make their own prisons. I never this wise when I knew you before. <laughs> That's probably because I was 18 and barely had the motor skills to put one foot forward in front of the <laughs> other. You meant that bad? Breakfast. Oh, what time is it? It's very, very early. Mm. Time for me to feed the hungry hordes. Mm. You stay here as long as you want.
dear James, thanks for your message, I love you too. See you when I arrive, your gorgeous gal Natasha. Have a great day. Lizzie, hey, Lizzie. You know, the trouble with lies, James, is you always get caught out in the end. What are you talking about? Your trophy book. You know, sorry for sleeping. But you know what, on second thoughts, I'm not. There's some great shots, James. So you found my photo album? You mean the one with your girlfriends? Conquests. <laughs> you haven't figured out the difference, have you? Lizzie, they mean nothing to me, OK? <laughs> really? Yeah. You know, that's maybe even sadder. But wait, tell me again how Natasha doesn't care about you. Wait, 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 what was it? Just friends? You know, you should probably tell Natasha that because she seems to think you're in love. Lizzie, can you not Expose just... you in front of everyone. Goodbye, James. Lizzie. Lizzie, are you alright? Not now, Cameron. Lizzie. I mean it. What's going on? I have no idea. Right? Well, she looks pretty upset yeah, now. I What's going that. on? Must have found the book. Probably a postcard from Natasha. Ah, oh, a trophy book. No, not a trophy book. Just started by accident. It was photos of girls I've met overseas. Right? Some friends, some lovers. And you wanted to put Lizzie into the book? No. I mean, I really liked Natasha. But when I first met up with Lizzie, Nothing else mattered. What are you trying to tell me? To be honest, Cameron, when I first saw Lizzie, a small part of me wanted to pay her back for hurting me. No one hurt me after her. I made sure of that. But there was no payback. I fell in love with her again, just like the first time. She makes me happy. She makes me feel like that kid that I was in high school. <laughs> yeah, you're right about one thing. What's that? You are still a kid in high school. This is what you wanted all along. I like sporting photos. I didn't know that. What's happening? Stupid. Okay, I'm really sorry about Paris and I'm sorry what happened at the restaurant. No, it's not that. I trusted someone. Who? What happened? Why am I such a loser? 
Why doesn't anyone want to love me? It's okay. It's okay. I want to have sex. Neither do I. Good morning. I have to go. Wait. I didn't come here to get back together with you. What's wrong, Lizzie? Everything. My apartment burnt down. What? Then my dad came back, wanting me to forgive him. Can you imagine that? He walks out on us. He kills my hey, mum. Lizzie, he didn't kill your mum. Okay, she died five years later from a tumour. He had nothing to do with it. You know better. <laughs> you walked out just as easily. Sorry, I have better things to do. Now, have a nice life. It wasn't like that. I didn't want to leave you. Part of me still loves you, but I finally realised that I was never, ever going to live up to your standards. What standards? I always felt like I was letting you down. I got tired of pretending to be the perfect man. Is that it? Well, there's more. You want to hear it? Sure. Why not? Do you know why you came here? Breakup sex? Because you had nowhere else to go. We've got no friends left. Every time one of them would perform some minor indiscretion, you'd find some reason to cut them off until it was just you and me. It's not my fault that people are unreliable. No, it's your fault for not accepting that they're human. People are messy. They make mistakes. That doesn't make them bad. You need to start forgiving the people that you love. And you need to start with your father. Artist, Lizzie. You bought all my paintings. Guilty as charged. Why? Because they're beautiful. You know, you really shouldn't try and buy somebody's love. Come on, that's not why I did it. I bought them for me because I like them, because they're lovely paintings. And, and each one's like a little piece of you that I can take around with me. Might have given up my right to be in your life a long time ago, but... I'm going to Paris. Yeah? I bought a ticket with the money. But good on you. <laughs> You'll knock them dead. I was hoping for a better result. Plan B. <laughs> Damn it. 
man. Very funny. What are you doing? Proving to you that every girl in that book is in my past. I'm kind of sorry I put a photo of me in it now. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, it's really sweet that you, you raised your past for me. It was already gone. Lizzie. You're the only girl that I've ever felt totally at ease with. What about Natasha? I cared for Natasha. I fell in love with you. Stop. Please. I've decided to go to Paris. And if you come one step closer, I'm afraid I'll never make it. I care about you too. I always have. Even when we were in high school. After we broke up. I used to think you were cute. Didn't you think I was a nerd? No. I thought you were smart. And aloof. <laughs> I'm gonna get on that plane, go to Paris. Maybe we took it too far the other night. I mean, we're just friends, right? Good friends. Good friends. I'm sorry about the photo album. No, nah, it's all right. I want to start another one. Just with photos of you, of course. Good night, James. Good Sure, I can't talk you into staying? You don't need me. Equal partnership. I'm flattered, oh, but... Oh, I know, you have to go to stupid old Paris. <laughs> All right, well, if I can't talk you into staying, I can do one thing for you. What's that? Try your party? <laughs> Is the most divine fondue restaurant. Okay, it's near Sacre Coeur. Uh, I must speak with him, is it? John, is he on? Your boss, Joe. She's a very beautiful woman. Is she single? I wouldn't leave it too long with a woman like Joe. She's got a lot of admirers. Then I must act with much haste. <laughs> Angela, you look nice. I was wondering if you would pleasure me with a dance. Dance? <laughs> I'd love to, but I can hardly walk. We could just stand and sway a little bit. Angela, <laughs> <laughs> have you been working out? <laughs> Do you hate me? Yes. Join the club, just like everyone else. Unless it's kicked me out. Where are you living? At the back of work. They don't know. Don't ever say I don't take any notice of anything you ever do. Well, I'm never talking to you again. <laughs> Karen, where did you get that tie? That's hideous. Don't you like it? No. <laughs> Put it in a box and don't take it out till you're 65. God, you can be a cruel woman. Someone has to save you from yourself. <laughs> Thanks for coming back. 
Hey. You don't think I'll miss a party, do you? <laughs> you set to go? Nothing left to do. Good night, Dad. Get on the plane. Hmm. Well, there is one more thing you have to do. James. You still have to dance with me. Jack, do you mind if I borrow your daughter for a minute? Go for it. Catch you later. I know we made an agreement. Let's just dance. Could have loved you more than life itself. I would have laid beside you for a time. Lasagna. Have a flight. Thanks, Angelo. And you look after John. It's in my hands. And I want a postcard. Every week. Take care of yourself, sweetheart. Can you write me another song? I'll write you a whole album. <laughs> I'm gonna miss your stupid face. <laughs> Madame, Lizzy, uh, I don't want to just be friends. Me neither. <laughs> Can you promise me? We're going to find each other again. I promise. Come on. Go get him. You can sail to Spain, catch a plane to France, because I know we'll dance again. Show your hand in Monaco Hear the standards of Montreux Cause I know Some mountains of Japan 